You know, the Mazda Road to Indy presented by Cooper Tires isn't just about great racing. This season, teams, drivers, and families have traveled all across North America for our races. Whether it's St. Petersburg, Florida, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toronto, Ontario, or the small towns like Lexington, Ohio, which is where we're at this weekend at the famous Mid-Ohio Sports Car Corps. And as the season nears the end, we're gonna go downstairs and find out what goes in to that year-end championship push. So are you ready for the question of the day? Uh, I guess, yeah. Man bun or ponytail? Man bun. Man bun or ponytail? Man bun. Man bun or ponytail? Man bun. Why all three man buns? You would wear a man bun? I don't think my hair is long enough, but yeah, I prefer that over a ponytail. Man bun. Man bun. Why? Because I'm a hipster. I don't like anything on a man, honestly. I just don't like man buns. Fair enough. Yeah. That's it. What do you think your teammate Moises de la Vera is going to say? He's going to say man bun. Man bun or ponytail? Man bun. Interesting. Your teammate predicted that. Really? There's something so just questionable about a man bun that I just can't get over. So I don't disagree. I guess I'm going to have to go ponytail, but god, that's that's a rough one. Ponytail. Why? Stacy Peralta. You know him? I don't. Lords of Dogtown. He had a ponytail, didn't he? Never heard of her. Uh, it's a it's a guy. Man bun or ponytail? Ponytail. Man bun or ponytail? Man bun. I'll go man bun. Why? Because I don't know. Ponytails for girls. He says ponytails for girls. Uh, no, it's no, it's a tropical weather. That's why I live in Florida. You know. Ponytails tropical. Man buns are manly. Yeah, it says man bun. It's called a man bun. Not a ponytail. Not a ponytail, yeah. Ponytails for, you know, it sounds girly. Man bun, it's a man bun. I think you should argue, I think you should throw down right now because of it. Oh! Oh! Did he, did he touch your face? Touch my face and I didn't even flinch. Whoa! Remind me to never get mad, to get you mad at me. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, I always do that, so I practice that. I cannot wait to see that in the banquet at the end of the year. I'm so sorry for anything I may have ever said or will say to you in the future. It's okay, no worries. See, see you guys. I say ponytails are now for men. Ponytails are now for men. You convinced him. Thanks, guys. Thank you. you know, whether you're coming from Cincinnati or Mansfield, all roads lead right here to Lexington, Ohio, home of the world-famous Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. To dominate in any racetrack is impressive, but to dominate here is truly something special. Mr. Mid-Ohio himself, Nico Jamin, driver for Andretti Autosport and Indy Lights. There's no getting around it. You can dominate at this place. Your last five races here, you have won. What about Mid-Ohio is such a special place for you? You know, I don't know. I just feel uh, extremely good here. Uh, all the atmosphere and the fans are great. I love the race course. Uh, you know, the, just the way that the corners, you know, one after the other one is just flowing around. And I just love the rhythm of the track, I guess. You've been racing for a long time. How did you get your start in racing? I started racing, uh, you know, when I was 14, 15, which is uh, quite a bit later than most of the race car drivers. I started in go-kart when I was uh, 14, did one year of go-kart and then went straight into cars. I didn't want to waste time into go-karts. Uh, one year in uh, what they call the Formula 4 in uh, France, then one year in Formula Renault 2.0, and four years ago I made the big move uh, to come over here when I was 17 all by myself in, in America and uh, try to uh, you know, get my shot here in, in America and it uh, worked out pretty well for me. Okay, so now a little bit more personal away from the racing side of things, but as a race car driver, even your personal life has something to do with racing. It's pretty cool. You, uh, your girlfriend, Rachel, she works Mazda Road to Indy events. Tell us a little bit about her and, and your guys' relationship. When I just arrived in the USA, I came here with uh, Esther that only allowed me to come three months in a row. So after three months, I was living with Alex Barron, uh, the other French driver in Florida, and we had to leave the States and we went to Mexico. And uh, my girlfriend Rachel, who's from uh, Michigan, was in uh, spring break in Cancun. 
and that's where we met. And uh, after that, we stayed, we stayed in contact, and uh, she started coming to the races. So she came at Toronto that year. She started working for Cooper Tires, so then it was great because we were on the podium all the time together, taking pictures together. My, my mechanic was always laughing about it, saying, hey, like, we're going to go see your girlfriend, okay? Because <laughs> you don't want any, any other driver to be on the podium with her. So it's great, you know, it, it's a motivation, it's a great relationship, and uh, it's been uh, three years now, so that's it's good. When you get back home to France, do people come up to you and go, tell us, what were the Americans like? What do you answer? How do, how do you tell them? You know, I, I always say that I love America. You know, America has given a lot to me, uh, especially throughout the last three or four years of my career. I would probably not be at the level that I am today if I was if I stayed in Europe. So I'm extremely thankful with America. And uh, actually, every people of my family, my brother has been here for a month now. We just love America, you know. People are extremely welcoming. You're going to cross a guy in the street, you don't even know him, he's going to ask you how you're doing. It's and that's, I think that's, that's, that's quite amazing. We're here high above the track at Mid-Ohio in the old garages, a place that you know so well. You're so fast here, five wins in a row. Nico, I think it's fair to say you're Mr. Mid-Ohio. Thank, Thank you. you so much for hanging out with us and telling us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about this track. Uh, it's going to be a big weekend in Indy Lights. Huge. We're wishing you the best of luck. Again, thanks for stopping and talking to us. It's great to get to know you away from the racing side of things a little bit. We'll have to go play tennis sometime. Let's do it, man. I think you will die laughing. All right. Thank you, Tony. Nico Jammin. The Cooper Tires USF 2000 Grand Prix of Mid-Ohio, presented by Allied Building Products, has historically belonged to Cape Motorsports. The weekend would begin that way as rookie championship point leader and Cape Motorsports driver Oliver Askew qualified his sole red Mazda on the pole for the first race of the weekend. As the green flag flew, the field blast off into turn one. Askew would return to early season form and pull away from the pack, even following a late race full course yellow for an incident involving Moises de la Vera and Kalen Fredericks, Askew would see clear track on his way to victory lane that his team has known oh so well. Joining Askew on the podium was Toronto double race winner Parker Thompson, who picked up second place from Lucas Cole on lap three and Renus VK finishing in third. Following Askew's win, the Florida driver was assessed a 10-point penalty for taking off too early on the initial start of the first race. Race two of the weekend was a very different looking affair. As the pole sitter, Parker Thompson would pace the field coming to the green flag and would continue to do the same thing once the race began. The young Canadian was lights out as he cruised to an impressive lead early on. Behind the leader, VK would hold station in second place after Askew fell to fifth on the second lap. Thompson won his third race of 2017 while VK and Kalen Fredericks rounded out the race two podium. A rare triple header was on deck for the Pro Mazda Championship drivers at Mid-Ohio this weekend. Team Pelfrey driver Carlos Kuna kicked things off by bringing the field to the green flag at the front in race number one, but unfortunately would not be able to stay there for long. Championship rivals Anthony Martin and Victor Franzoni overtook the top two spots and would drive away on lap one. Martin was consistent in his laps, staying out ahead of Franzoni, who worked mightily to never let Martin disappear. The first race of the week went to Anthony Martin with Franzoni in second and TJ Fisher finishing high in third. Race two was looking to be a repeat of race one as Anthony Martin was cruising to another victory at Mid-Ohio. That all changed though when Franzoni, who had been reeling the Australian in, passed Martin, who simultaneously was avoiding the spinning car of Franzoni's Uncos Racing teammate, Jeff Green. Franzoni held off Martin and drove to victory lane. The third and final race for the Pro Mazda drivers on the weekend Sunday morning saw an exciting opening lap as Franzoni executed a late pass in turn two on Kuna to take second place from the start. Ultimately though, Franzoni could not maintain Martin's blistering late race pace and would have to settle for second with Martin scoring two out of three wins on the weekend. The first of the Cooper Tires Indy Lights Grand Prix of Mid-Ohio presented by Allied Building Products took a little longer to get started after two waved off starts. Pole sitter Santiago Arrudia held off big moves by Colton Herta on the opening lap. The young rookie in the number 98 car would then find himself in a good battle with Nico Jamin fighting for second place, resulting in Herta getting the position on lap number six. Nearing 10 to go, Herta would rally and brought the fight right back to Arrudia, but Santi would not crack putting in a string of fast laps 
the Bellardi Auto Racing driver from Uruguay stretched his lead out once again in the waning laps and earned his first victory of 2017. The second race of the weekend began with impressive moves as Nico Jamin grabbed second place from Santi in turn one off of the green flag. Jamin would then put in work to chase down the pole sitter, but before a fight could even begin at the front, the race leader, Colton Herta, would spin all on his own and fall out of the top 10. The big drama of the race would come on lap 12 when the Ucos racing teammates of Nico DePero and Kyle Kaiser were working their way around Team Pelfrey's Juan Pedrajita. Point leader Kyle Kaiser would clip Pedrajita's left rear wheel in turn five, sending both he and Juan off of the track. Up front though, it was Mr. Mid-Ohio himself. Nico Jamin would earn his sixth win in seven races at Mid-Ohio. Arudio would stand second while Shelby Blackstock picked up a hard earned third place finish. Weekend number eight of the 2017 Mazda Road to Indy presented by Cooper Tires is in the books. Seven different races here at the Middle House Sports Car Course across three different championships means one winner, the fans. That'll do it for our part one episode here in Lexington, but stick around because part two is going to have a little bit of singing and getting to know some more of our Mazda Road to Indy drivers. So for everyone at Road to Indy TV, I'm Tony Laporta. We'll see you down the road.